In this video, I am going to show you how to do some of the course settings and for this I will be using one of my previous courses and this is the course I want to use. So I click on that. So there are two things which we will discuss in this video. First thing is what are different options for us to set the home page of our course and second thing is what are some of the important settings for our course which we have to do in Canvas dashboard. So in order to set the home page, you click on this choose home page option and there are few options you can choose from. So the first thing is course activity stream. So this is a particular uh, page which will be presented if you select this option. Similarly, pages front page which I have chosen in which you can design this page, put an image and uh, some text if you want. So this is one of the options we have. Another option is course modules and if you select course modules then on your home page all the course modules I have these three modules and uh, not very visible in this uh, screen but these are the modules. So these modules will be at my home page of the course. Then I can also put assignment list so that when student log into uh, uh, the course they directly see what are the assignments they have to do. And I can also put the syllabus of the course as my home page. I mostly use course modules but in this course I have uh, selected this option. Uh, just cancel this. Now these were some of the options available for setting the course home page and now we will be looking at some of the important settings of your course. So this is your global navigation bar and this is your course navigation bar. So in the course navigation bar at the very end you have this settings icon. If you click on this settings now we have this menu here and here we can set few settings. So the most important is the first one course details and if I click on course details now I get this long page and this is very important because here we have to put some important parameters about our course. You can choose any image if you click on this you can drag and drop your image here. Now here you select the name of your course, then you can select the course code, then you can select the time zone, uh, you can put a start and end date for this course and then you can uh, say that students can only participate uh, in this course within this date and then you can restrict the students that they won't be able to view the course after these dates and also you can restrict the students from viewing before the start date. So these kind of options you just select here. Then you can either select the copyright course or you can also select as a creative common license for your course if you want. Now there are three types of visibilities available. Course visibility or your institution level visibility or the public visibility where anyone will be able to access your course. So these are few options you set here in the course details tab. The next tab is sections tab. In sections tab you can create sections for your courses in the, by just clicking on this plus sign and putting the name of the section. In the navigation tab, so these are the navigation tabs which you can set here. So you can change the order of these by just dragging and dropping. Uh, for example, I can drop it here or I can uh, put it back. This will change the way your course navigation bar looks. If you don't want student to see any of these sections, for example, if you don't want student to see the attendance, just click on the attendance and drop it in this area. If students click on this, they will be redirected to the home page of the course. The next is apps and in apps, you have many apps available for your canvas. And this is one of the powerful features that you can use to get some advanced functionality in your course. So there are so many things and every day new apps are coming. People are trying to give more features into your course and you should be looking into this if you are in a teaching, tutoring or training business. These are the things which you should be learning. You have to learn these apps and see what features uh, they provide to your Canvas course and you can add these apps into your course. Now in feature options, you have a few more features which you might want to include in your course and just by clicking on this, it will be included in your course. These are certain grade books or some uh, instructors or anonymous instructor annotations. So these are few features which we will be discussing in uh, next videos. So this is how you uh, do settings of your course in Canvas Instructure. 
and in most cases you should only be focusing on this tab which is the course details tab. 